afternoon. A wild dingo has been captured on film walking around the entrance to Sunshine Beach State Primary School at night. The animal was seen by local as Chennai Palmer telling the Sunshine Coast Daily what she saw was definitely a dingo and had never heard of them being in the area. Ms Palmer says she's concerned about the safety of school children. Independent candidate for the mayoralty of Noosa Council, John Morrell, has taken aim at the region's many Airbnbs and other short-term accommodation options. The region is dealing with a chronic shortage of long-term rentals, pushing up prices dramatically and forcing workers to live outside of the Noosa Shire. Mr Morrell told 10 News Local many short-term rentals aren't even approved. And apparently a third of them aren't even approved yet. So if they're trading, the question would be, well, why are they trading if they're not approved? Secondly, all of the bylaw that they put into place in 2020 as in council, why are they not being policed? Why are these party houses are happening? State Labor member for Nicklin, Rob Skelton, has taken a few pot shots at the state and federal opposition this Valentine's Day. Mr Skelton shared Queensland Labor posts mocking LNP leader David Christofulli and federal opposition leader Peter Dutton, referring to the LNP's controversial cuts to services during the Newman government from 2012 to 2015. And Noosa Council has held another successful Come and Try Day. The council said there was a big turnout from the kids, despite a bit of rain about, with children able to try out various sports, including tennis, Aussie rules, rugby league, rugby union and netball. Another one is this Tuesday at the Kuroi Sports Complex. Checking tomorrow's weather forecast, showers increasing in Noosa and Calandra, both tops of 30 degrees. Gimpy, shower to 31. Mostly sunny over in Toowoomba, 28. Brisbane looking at a shower to 31. That's all from me from now. I'll have news headlines later tonight.